I said that, frankly, I yeah. think Roe v. Wade had gone too far, right. that I was wrong, and that I was pro-life. Why did I, you need that? Uh, you know, it, it was a... Uh, because, the reason I'm asking is because you know, your church, uh, as its official position for forever on uh, this issue, is a member of the Church of uh, Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, must not submit to, perform, encourage, pay for, or arrange for an abortion. If you encourage an abortion in any way, you may be subject to church discipline. That's uh, your church's my, my, position. My, you know, the, the, and, great, and the, great thing, the great thing about this country is that, that, uh, that individuals are, who, who run for secular office are, are not, uh, are not uh, implementing the policies of their church. They're doing what they think is right for the nation. And I came to the position by virtue of my leadership as, of a state that I had been wrong. And that I and that I needed to be pro-life. Let me and ask I, you some more. Let, 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 no, but no, wait a second. Because let me, this is, let me finish this is, the thought. But this and is I, exactly what uh, Kennedy says about, about his Catholicism, and they call him the pro, pro-life community here well, in Kennedy. You know, and Iowa okay, calls him a cafeteria cat. But I'm not, not going to have a, a conversation about what my church views are because that's why not? Because that's not the nature of the office I'm running for. And and there are people there are people in my church who are pro-choice. That is not against my church's view to allow people to have their own position on political issues. That's not what it says. Uh, you can I'm be sorry. subject to the church discipline no, if you, you take you, any position. You, ha- you happen to be incorrect on that. Well, I'm, not, I'm just quoting this. You happen to be incorrect on in your interpretation of it. How? I'm not here to discuss a religion or discuss the principles okay, of religion. Okay, here's I'm here, to, talk, I'm I here to discuss. And I don't. I'm not trying yeah, to. I, 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 get, you know what, I get just as much opportunity to speak as you do. So okay, let me finish right. my sentence, if, right. if you will. Okay. And that is, I am pro-life. As governor of Massachusetts, I faced issues that came to my desk that related to life and death, and I came down on the side of life. I wrote an op-ed piece in the Boston Globe as to why I was life. Every decision I took right. as governor was in favor of life, and I was wrong in the past. And you know what? I'm not going to apologize to people for becoming pro-life. I received an award just a couple of months ago from the Massachusetts yeah. Citizen yeah. for yeah. Life, yeah. 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 awarding me a, a, an award for, for a public leadership in favor of life, and I'm proud of that record. And as president of the United States, I will be a pro-life president. And you know what? In my opinion, that's where the top ends. Governor Romney, I need to take a short time out here. We only have a time, a tough time, uh, a short time together. So uh, I'll take a quick time out. We'll come right back with more comments and more issues right here. As Michael, the morning, proceed. I'd love to have an hour. Not ten minutes. <laughs> then we could have nuance. Then we, then we could. And I think you're making. This is my only opinion. I think you make a big mistake when you distance yourself. From your I'm not distancing faith. myself from my faith. No, I'm I, proud I, of my faith, and I accept every. I, there's nothing I distance myself from. There are Mormons in the leadership of my yeah. church who are pro-choice, and they're not violate that. What you, if you're not a lawyer, then then, then you, I mean, you have to read that a little more carefully. All right. The same, the same. For instance, my church says that that, uh, uh, that if you have uh, sex outside marriage, that you should be excommunicated. Right. Now, do we make a law that says that? No. But no, no, no. Wait, you're missing my point. No, you're missing my point, which is which is what a society makes as law and requires other people to do is not necessarily the same. I'm talking about the political sphere here. When you when you offer, when you bifurcate politics from religion and you have a hermetically sealed uh, you make a political category over here and a spiritual one over here now my church says I can't drink alcohol Right? That's what my church says. Mitch, you can't drink alcohol. Okay, should I say that as governor of Massachusetts, we're stopping alcohol sales. If you're not going to separate your religion, you better make everybody not drink alcohol. No, my religion is for me and how I live my life. It, is, it tells me, my church, the leaders of my church, who I know well, and who I have been, a leader of my church, says, with the same vehemence that we have our own beliefs, we also vehemently believe other people should be able to make their own choices. They can make their own choices. No. No. And have free and have free agency. So don't so don't so don't confuse don't confuse what I do as a, as a member of my faith with what I think should be done by government. I'm taking it to the next level. Right, okay. so, and the next level is you are running in this state trying to appeal to the whatever, however you term it, the religious right. I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to tell people my views. I, but I know, but I understand your position and whom you're going to try to appeal to. And that includes Catholics and evangelicals. Right. And includes, you're not I accept all my faith. I accept all my faith, but I don't impose 
all of my faith beliefs on you. My view is I should have the right to practice my religion. You should have the right to practice yours. I agree, but that's not what I was getting to. What I was trying to get to was that people of, uh, who will reject your Mormonism on a theological basis right. can uh, would put up with that and might vote for you if they thought you were a consistent, morally consistent Mormon. Well, if I they am. don't think that you're I a morally am. consistent I woman, am. they're not likely to to hold their nose and and. I and made it very that. clear. I do not. I do not try and distance myself from my faith in any way, shape, or form. I've been asked time and again, will you distance yourself from your church? Will you disavow this practice? The, the and the answer is, is no. The point, yeah, the point is, no, is uh, when you try to, to, to hermetically seal them, that makes the uh, your potential supporters who agree with your ethics nervous. That's all I'm trying to say. And so, what, and so what should I do? What, so, so tell me what I should do. I should not have been pro-choice. And therefore, I'm just finished right there. Well, you're pro-choice, therefore you you distance yourself from no, your no, Therefore, no, you're finished. No, no, no. no that's not what I say. The, the point is, uh, <laughs> I, I made a mistake when I. And every Mormon should be pro-life. Pro that's what your church says. Well, that's not what my church says. <laughs> that's not what my church says. Um, but that's that's not what my church says. There are leaders in my church that are pro-choice. You are wrong. No. Yeah, that's your that's, that's a false. That's false logic. No, no, my, the church's official position is seconds. pro life. No, because some of your for, leadership for, is out of sync. No, doesn't no, mean no, 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 no. We can we can continue that conversation. Okay. We only have about thirty seconds remaining oh, okay. here. Unless you want to stay longer. Okay. I gotta run. We're back. We're up. We're up. We're up. We're up. Governor Romney, we just got started. Will you come back and we can have a longer and more detailed conversation? You know, I'm, I'm happy to get together. As you know, as you know, I get a chance to come all over the state, and I love getting together with folks across Iowa. Let's so do it's it. a lot of fun. Let's do it, sir. Because you went long in that last time. Uh, we didn't have enough time. Yeah, here, here, let me let me help you understand that. It's, and you don't understand my faith like I do. All right, so so give me for a moment the benefit of the doubt that having been a leader in my church, a bishop and a state president, I understand my church better than you do. All right. My church has very strong beliefs that Mormons should not participate in, encourage, in any way support abortion. You can be excommunicated if you do. It says right there. That's what they say. I don't say it. Are you thinking I'm disagreeing with you? No, I don't know. But it's strong. Are you, are you disagreeing with me? Uh, uh, I, let, let me let me once again say I understand my faith better than you do. Right. Well, you don't believe that, do you? I'm not sure. Uh, well, see, I, that, that it's that it's hardly worth having a discussion. Well, no, no. I'm not, uh, let, listen. Let me. Can I? Can I complete the point? Well, the reason I said that is because you also said in another forum, uh, I think it was on Stephanopoulos, uh -huh. about the second coming of Christ. Right. And you said it's going to happen in Jerusalem. And it is. Your church says it's going to happen in Missouri. No, it doesn't. All right. Is that wrong? I, is what I, I, wrong? Is what wrong? Uh, okay, so, see, I, the church says that Christ appears in on the Mount of Olives and splits the Mount of Olives and appears in Jerusalem. That's what the church says. And then over a thousand years of the millennium, that the world is reigned in two places, Jerusalem and Missouri. That's what the church says. The second coming, the arrival of Jesus Christ, our church says is in Jerusalem. That's the church doctrine. Then Stephanopoulos uh, misquoted your church. Which is not that's surprising. Fine. That's fine. That's but fine. I was basing that, I was basing my, my that just, question on you that. Can, you can, you can, uh, Cleon Skousen has a book called A Thousand Years. You can talk about Christ appears. It's throughout the Bible. Christ appears in Jerusalem, splits the Mount of Olives to stop the war. That's coming in to kill all the Jews. It's it's our church believes that. That's where the coming and glory of Christ occurs. We also believe that over the thousand years that follows in the millennium, he will reign from two places, right. that the law will come forward from uh, from one place and, and uh, uh, from Missouri and the other will be right. in Jerusalem. All right, that's... But now back, back yeah. to abortion. Well, before we, I have to get back to yeah, you. Look, look, before we do anything else, I yeah. want you to understand one thing. I yeah. take this stuff real seriously. Oh, I don't, I, though. For I, me, it's, this is all frivolous. No, I take you... No, I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. No, I take, I'm right for president. What, what are you... Are you going to just... I take you seriously. No, but I... And I take what you're saying seriously. But you're... Saying, sir, but, but you're you're not giving me the opportunity to explain to you that my that my that my my faith has very strong beliefs that if I commit abortion, encourage an abortion. I, I was beaten up in Boston because I pointed out time and again that I encourage girls not to get abortions, that I told them to have adoptions. I have never done anything that in any way violates the principles of my church in that regard. I've made other mistakes, but in that regard. But the church does not say that a member of our church has to uh, be opposed to allowing choice in, in society. 
He does not say that. And therefore, there are there are Mormon Democrats. There's a Democratic Party in Mass in, in Utah filled with Mormons, and the church doesn't say they're wrong, they're being excommunicated. No, it says, look, we are vehemently opposed to abortion ourselves and for ourselves but we allow other people to make their own choice i disagree with that view politically i looked at it i said you know what that's wrong and it's not a mormon thing it's a it's a, a secular position to say you know what i was wrong we should have as a society a prohibition on, on, uh, on uh, abortion in the following circumstances when, uh, but it's not it's not violating my faith let me assure you when i hope we can do this so we can spend some okay. quality time on the air rather than the, the, the sound no I, I mean i don't like coming on the air and having you go after my church and me and my, I'm my, not going my, after you. I agree no, with my church i know you that's right but i'm not running as a mormon and i don't and and, and i get a little tired of coming on a show like yours and having it all about mormon uh, see, I don't mind it being about that. Yeah, I do. I, 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 agree, I do. I agree with the ethics of your church, for Pete's sake. So do I. So do I. Well, <laughs> so I. I was trying to. No, you're trying to tell me that I'm not that I'm not a faithful Mormon. Really? That I'm that I'm not. I'm trying to get. Church. No, I'm trying to get you to reconcile what I think is a disparity and and, 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 and and have a great discussion about Mormonism and the Mormon Church and read the doctrines of the Church and where my view is. And you know what? I'm I, I, I not I'm not running I'm not running to talk about Mormonism. No, but the point is, I you know the people who are likely to vote don't want to elect a Ted Kennedy uh, who runs comes back or a Senator Harkin who comes here to Dowling and comes here to Iowa and says I'm pro life and then when he gets to Washington stands up and becomes pro choice. Here's, here's your opportunity to you have that settle in your mind. I was governor four years. It's not just what I'm talking about. I was governor four years. I had a number of pieces of legislation that came to my desk that dealt with abortion, absence education, RU486, and so forth. I vetoed any bill that was in favor of choice. I was entirely consistent in favor of life. So it's not just my word you have to say. Look at my record. Thank you.